In November 2021, the crypto space went crazy. Bitcoin reached a bit more than $69,000, while Ethereum reached $4,800. We are now in a bear market, and this could be the perfect time to consider learning DeFi development. To start learning DeFi, you must have a good grasp of web development. Finally, we'll see what you need to know to start coding on blockchain. This video is produced by Tebow, made by Alex, and voiced by me, Joel. And on Eat the Blocks, we help Web2 developers get into Web3. The tech powering Web3 for both front end and back end is built on top of Web2 technologies. Although one can learn Web3 directly, it's important to mention that you'll need a solid foundation in Web2 first. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and Next.js are the main building blocks of the NFT marketplaces, dApps, etc. These technologies belong to the earlier versions of web technology, and there's not a single Web3 dApps that was built without it. With that said, you should start by learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and object-oriented programming. Having a strong background in these will enable you not to only create beautiful front ends, but also work with smart contracts. React and Next.js are widely used technologies to develop modern and fast front ends. This is a lethal combination here as well. Learning this stack will also help build centralized web applications. To interact with smart contracts, you'll need to use a few libraries in your front end, which are Web3.js and Ether.js. Web3.js is a collection of libraries that allow you to interact with local or remote Ethereum nodes using HTTP, IPC, or WebSocket. Similarly, the Ethers JS library aims at being a complete and compact library for interacting with the Ethereum blockchain and its ecosystem. Before starting to learn how to program a smart contract, it's really important that you understand the logic behind DeFi and what makes DeFi so important. You must have a look at the most famous crypto white paper, Bitcoin by Satoshi Nakamoto. This will teach you how and why blockchain was invented and why we need to use it. Smart contracts, blockchain, proofs of work, proofs of stake, Ethereum, tokens, and other foundational concepts should be mastered as well. Now that you've acquired strong skills in Web2 and that you understand the fundamentals of DeFi, it's time for you to start programming on the blockchain. Nowadays, there are many different types of blockchains, but we'll focus on learning Solidity first. Why Solidity? Because Solidity is a high-level and object-oriented programming language inspired by C++, Python, and JavaScript. It's widely used to create smart contracts. Having experience with statistically type programming languages is also beneficial here. Finally, a Web3 developer should have first-hand experience with Remix IDE, Truffle, Metamask, and their relevant ecosystems. To sum it up, I believe you should first learn Web2 and then move into Web3. It'll help you have first-hand experience of how web development actually works and what the differences are between these versions of the web. Don't forget to also read a lot about the DeFi ecosystem. Congratulations! You're now ready to start your journey as a DeFi developer. You can get most of the materials needed in our channel, which can help you in your DeFi development journey. See you in the next video. Bye!